And that's it. Oops, and that is it. So it's final score here at the shooting ground. Staying in town one. Maystone United four. So a good professional performance, Connor. Yeah, great performance from Maystone United today. I thought um, we mentioned it plenty of times, didn't we, that this could be one of those giant killings that we see all the time in the FA Cup. Um, Maystone United have managed to avoid that banana skin this afternoon. Um, good performance all round. Conceded that, that goal, but um, managed to always maintain a lead in the match and uh, done very well, I think, today. Uh, should be happy with that. I think, I'm sure Sol Wanjiao Smith will be happy with the hat trick he's found himself, and uh, Levi Amachi adds to his tally. Uh, it's a great afternoon out here by uh, Stenning Town, who today were the um, the lowest ranked team still in the FA Cup competition. Uh, they've put on a great afternoon for us. They've uh, the buzz before was really quite electric and uh, people are still here no one sort of left plenty of fans sort of uh, with a round of applause to their, to their players and just uh, making the most of today as an occasion and um, they've done themselves proud but Mason United just too strong in the end yeah I see it exactly so uh, as we say it's Maystone that's find themselves in the hat for the next round third qualifying round of course that's two rounds away two games potentially away from a first round clash which is what clubs like Maystone achieve to do that would be success I think for them yep. this season yeah that's why I'd like to see us get us first round proper yeah that's what we're after isn't it um, Maystone United fans still plenty behind that goal that we were attacking in the second half yep Maystone fans uh, just giving the team a well deserved round of applause so, uh, yeah, so what do, what do we think then? So going back to the beginning of the game, um, we said at the beginning of the game that we we wanted a fast start, get the first goal, and they did that. I mean, yeah, it's somewhat fortuitous, uh, just really from a staining point of view, but yeah. Sol Wanjo Smith played to the whistle and put the ball away, didn't he? Yeah, I think that that sort of goal as well really took the atmosphere out of the ground. It did. It really sort of stamped out any sort of hope of a result for Stenning I think it was sort of they were expecting a foul I think maybe uh, not playing to the whistle Wanjiao Smith made the most of his uh, opportunity and, and he did well and that really took the sting out of the, uh, out of the match and um, you might be able to hear around us now uh, the Stenning players are coming over and um, getting a good round of applause towards this clubhouse that we're at and as people are raising their drinks and saying well played and, and fair play and that sort of stuff to them um, getting a well deserved good round of applause and um, They've done themselves proud today and uh, I'm sure they'll do well in the league because they've definitely played some very good football at times and that's, you know, in the opportunities that they did. Albeit not many opportunities, but they did do well. That nice short passing that they managed to work together and um, that Charlie Meehan certainly looks like a player as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he, yeah, he got his goal, didn't he? So, you know, not being sort of like, you know, disrespectful but I think they did they did deserve that I mean it's their big day isn't it you know they've got their goal something to put on his CV isn't it that he scored a goal in the first qualifying second qualifying man the FA Cup against Maidstone United yeah you know whatever you say whether it was a switch off from Maidstone you know they deserve that really um, but I think Maidstone responded well to that I mean just after that they, we had a, had a drinks break didn't we halfway through the half and come out from that Again on the front foot, Wanjo Smith got another goal. Um, yeah, I think Mason United have done very well to, you know, that pressure of the goal when they finally did get that goal and it was 2 1 and they had another great opportunity to make it 2 2, didn't they? Cobland with a save, tipping it over the bar. So. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think the goal came at the right time for, for Stanion, didn't it? Like yeah. Literally five minutes before half time, yeah. they could just throw the kitchen sink at Mason and they did that. They, you know, they tried to. To, to get that second goal to go in at half time all square but uh, wasn't to be and then Maystone uh, you know a, a first couple of minutes again of the second half came out from the kickoff long ball forward tried to put a little bit of pressure on the goal but then Amanchi got that goal yeah. and just again restored that two goal lead and uh, it was comfortable for Maystone from it that wasn't point wasn't it yeah. you know we, we said at the start didn't we that we wanted to get good fast start 
the beginning of the match and um, Mason from, from minute one were playing a high press and weren't letting them play at all and uh, got exactly what we deserved I think today we got a good win and um, Stenning as much as they've showed a good account of themselves of uh, Bauer at this stage yeah so it's uh, Maystone United that find themselves in the hat for the next round I believe the draw is normally announced around about one o'clock yeah uh, on Monday so keep your eyes on social media for that any names at the moment Nigel that you'd like to see Maidstone be drawn against I think it's the same as what uh, previous managers said isn't it you just want the lowest ranked team at home at this yeah. stage don't you you know I mean we, we looked at it before the before the uh, start of the game didn't we that you know the, the year we got the last time we dropped down from the National League into National League South and we had to come into this level we got three home ties against teams that were all in lower divisions to us you know I think it was Chertsey um, Kings Landley and another name that escapes me but you know we managed to get into that first round got Torquay at home beat Torquay and then had that away day at Blackpool didn't we so yeah, exactly. you know all great journey started with a small step and I just think you know from Maystone's point of view we just need to to ensure we get into the next round whoever we face you know and just uh, keep building on that momentum that we, we've sort of built up over the last couple of games